Hello everybody. I just want to give you just a quick little video here of something that I ran into today. This is a preliminary tax plan. This has not gone into a fresh size meeting. It hasn't been fully developed. This only has tax zone one, two, and three in it already. I just want to give you an example of something that I thought was pretty neat. I posted a video that talks about how if you have let's say item number two, if there are preparation assignments in tact wagon number two that you can put in the work steps of like tact wagon number one, the preparation of that activity, that tact wagon number two with its work packages, you can put it in the work steps of tact wagon number one. The other thing that you can do is what I'm going to show you here. So this is the start of a neat little uh, tact plan. This is for civil. And this company, they did some takeoffs for TACT 1, 2, and 3. They know how much pipe and how many structures they have to put in. So they were able to balance out their crews, so the structures and laying pipe for the storm drain. And then you see the red over here. Uh, that was for the sanitary sewer. And then the, the light blue, that's laying pipe for their water. These twos used to be over here next to the ones. And what the team figured out was you can keep trade flow trade flow and then trade flow if this crew so the crew number one is marked with ones crew number two is marked with twos if this crew goes over here and does this water line tie-in so you see that uh, right here a water line tie-in right here and then they can go crew number two goes from here to here to here to here to here to here oops uh, all the way down through the sequence and then uh, when the crew number one gets done they can go up here and uh, they can finish the, uh, the basically the, the finish ahead of the owner's electrical and then they can go ahead and do the subgrade and the base and finish out this sequence of work. So really great stuff. I, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the start. They're going to add probably 17 more sequences in here so you'll be able to see them. But one of the things that we, we left with uh, once we took notes and gave the team kind of their to-do list for the next steps and we were listing possible constraints and we were fleshing out the actual uh, legend over here is we said, hey, we need to make sure that these tag plans are being planned right. There's not a whole lot of use in the system if we don't plan ahead of time. So what they chose to do, instead of putting the work steps for uh, work packages within tact wagon number two into tact wagon number one. We just split tax zone into two rows. You'll see that not only we were able to put two tact wagons on top of each other, uh, but we were also able to put in here these little preparation assignments. So pre-activity meeting for storm drain, pre-activity meeting for uh, sanitary sewer, pre-activity meeting for water. So in their line of work, they usually like to have that be done about five days ahead. So for items number two, five days ahead, there's that trigger for us. The water line, five days ahead, there's that trigger for us. The storm drain, five days ahead, there's that trigger for us. So as a project team, and this is a day-to-day -day tact, as a project team starts to go through this, you know, they go through on the 8th nothing you know their procurement ninth nothing Ooh, i've got to do my uh pre-activity meeting okay i need to get that done and that will trigger this work to be prepared and done in a quality manner because remember lean is all about getting a quality product so don't be afraid of splitting your tax sequences or what i call tack trains into two rows you'll see row number one row number two and to have some of these other preparation or concurrent activity items on here or even backlog work so i wanted to show you that um, i really think that companies can have a lot of fun and custom tailor their formats in excel and have it be pretty dynamic as they're learning the system again there's uh softwares out there like uh, Tacting or Timoti that will do this as well. But I'm just giving you some examples on Excel because it helps us to learn the system and it helps us to learn the theory. Again, you can see workflow, you can see the trade flow going in this direction, and you can see the logistical flow going in this direction. So I really love this. I'm going to keep teaching based off of Excel. If anybody ever says that Excel doesn't work really well with tax planning or that you have to have a different software, be cautious. They don't know what they're talking about. You do need 
tagged planning software, when you start to really get into the science and the formulas and you really start to level out uh, your production and enter into different types of tack control. But yeah, Excel is a great place to start. I hope you enjoyed this short video on preparing and queuing up work out ahead and, uh, and using tact as a triggering system to prepare work to make it ready. On we go.